Happy birthday! My birthday is next week. Oh. Why are you sitting here with a cupcake with a candle in it if it's not your birthday? Oh. Candle's the best part. Hello to you. Hello to you. Hello, everybody. I'm John. I'm Brandon. And this is the So and So Show. Yeah, all month we've been talking about training. And you know, it's one thing to talk about it, but it's another thing to actually do it. Exactly. So Brandon and I here have decided to put our muscles where our mouth is. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Well, you know, like put your money where your mouth is. It's, it's, it's a saying or a phrase meaning to take action on yeah, the I'm thing I'm familiar with about. that phrase, yeah. Well, right, then since we're talking about working out and not talking about money, for us, it's muscles where your mouth is. Okay, can you please just stop biting your biceps? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Now, however weird that was, John is right. Today on the show, we are gonna finally get healthy. Mm -hmm. Exercise and eat right. Eat right. Yeah, that's a crucial part of getting healthy and training. I did not agree to that one. Oh, no. Thank you. Fine. Now then, like I was saying, today is the day to put all our training this month to practice. Yep. And I even printed out a workout routine for us to do. Oh, really? Great. Mm -hmm. let's, let's see it. Okay. Uh, oh, no, that's not it. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, here we go. Here, just... Nice. Yeah. Crunches, jumping jacks, high knees, it's all right here. We all just right. follow this. All right. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me just reply to this real quick. Hold oh, on. yeah. Um, you know what? Actually, don't worry about it because I uh, I have some laundry that I need to go move over to the dryer. So I'll, okay, uh, yeah, I'll be right back in the meeting. See you in a second. Yeah. And send. Okay. All right. Uh, first, uh, let's see. We have uh, jumping jacks. Okay. Jumping jacks. Um, something like that. All right. I, I mean, you know what? No point in starting this without John. He's the one that made the list. So. I'll just clean the desk while he's while I'm waiting. There we go. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Hey Brandon, guess what? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm cleaning. Oh, it's messier and damp. I, well, I, I was gonna put everything back when I'm done. Oh, no, no, forget it, forget it, forget it. That, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll talk about that later. Give me that, give me that. <sighs> we need to be focusing on things right now. Oh, right, right. We should start our workout. What? Uh, no, no, well, no, we'll get to that. No, okay. I'm talking about this. A costume contest? The winner gets a year's supply of hacky sacks. Do you even know how to play with a hacky sack? No. But I will, especially if I have a whole year's supply. We just gotta come up with the best costume. Are we? Yes, you know, costume duos always do better in these sh talent shows, Brandon. Oh, but the exercise. But the hacky sex. Oh, you're right. Let's go. Too matchy. Not matchy enough. Brandon, you can't just wear a mask. You have to wear a whole costume. Next. Well, it's perfect. Oh, thank <laughs> I think we put off starting our workout long enough. So here we go. Oh, Jumping oh. jacks. Oh, what no. now? No, it's just that now I really want to bake cookies and eat them with milk. Oh. It's Bible story time. Hey, 
Hey guys, getting healthy, I see. Yeah. What you got for us today? Well, as you know, this month we've been talking about different skills to help your faith grow. And today is our grand finale. Ooh, I love a grand finale, especially during a fireworks show. Oh yeah, boom, boom, pow, pow. Whoa. Yeah, like that. <laughs> nice. I, I didn't know they had fireworks in the Bible. What? Well, maybe metaphorically, but not physically. Physicalize! <laughs> yeah, I am always physical. Hi, Horvath. Yeah, hi, I am Horvath, and I combine the mental trainings of learning the Bible with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger. That's right. So since you're here, I'll tell the Bible story and you can do some exercises to help us all remember. <laughs> Let's do this. Wow, hey, that's my line. Sorry, I just got excited. Oh, I forgive you. Let's do this. <laughs> Today's story is written down in the book of Mark chapter 12. One day, Jesus was sitting across from the place where people gave money to the temple. He was watching the crowd put money into the offering boxes. Wow. First exercise! Okay, the, the watch em squatters. Okay, we take out our binoculars. Oh, take off the lenses. All right. Oh, and then we watch and we squat. We do this 987 times! Go! One, ah, two, ah, chicken nuggets, ah, 45, ah, care bears, 987, ha ha! Oh. That was a workout. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? What's next? Okay, well, while Jesus watched, he saw many rich people give large amounts of money to the temple. But then Jesus saw a poor widow come in and she gave just two very small copper coins, about as much as a few pennies. Oh, that doesn't sound like matches. I know. Compared to everyone else, two copper coins seemed like a very small amount. Oh, okay. Next exercise. I call this the little lot give pot. Okay, you put your hands together close like this to give a little, and then you stretch them wide to give a lot, and then you put it all in the offering pot. Oh, yeah. So you give a little or a lot, and you put it in the offering pot. Little lot pot. <laughs> we do that 81 times. Go! Little lot pot. One little lot pot. 18 cheddar cheese puffs. Hey, friend, see, rivers, 81. <laughs> <laughs> when Jesus saw the woman give her two coins, he called his disciples over to him and he told them, that poor widow has put more into the offering box than all the others. Wait, wait, I, I thought she only gave a little and they all gave a lot, but her little was bigger than a lot. Hi. How? How is that possible? Well, Jesus went on to say, they all gave a lot because they are rich, but she gave even though she is poor. She put in everything she had. That was all she had to live on. That was all she had? Yep. She gave it all to God. Wow. She is so generous it makes my brains hurt. I am, oh, how do you cause it when your head is so amazed? by something that is like powerful explosion uh, of unbelievable things pinging around in the brains all at once. Mind blown? Mind blown! That widow lady is mind blowing. Oh. <laughs> what she did caught Jesus's attention big time. Last exercise! The mind blowing heart gives. Okay. <laughs> okay, you put your hands on your heart. <laughs> And then you jump like a star exploding. Whoa. Giving everything you have and blowing everybody's minds. Okay, ready? We do this 300 times. Okay. Whew. One. Whew. Fourteen. Whew. Pogo stick. Seventy-two. Googly eyes. Where's the beef? Ah, 300! Ah! <laughs> we did it! We did it! <laughs> well, thanks, Horvath! Oh, you are welcome. Who are you? Whoa! Uh, Horvath? I'm okay. Uh, uh, good. 
And the end. Wow, great story. Yeah, I can't believe the widow only had two pennies and she gave them away. It's true. She put her faith into action through her extraordinary giving. She showed us an example of how we can live our lives for God. Well, that's our final faith skill this month, the grand finale. We should make a commitment to live for God. I like that. Yeah, the poor widow gave her everything. Mm. True, but giving is only part of it. There are lots of ways we can live for God. We can trust God with our time and our talents. Every time we have a hard choice to make, we can consider how God might feel about it. And we can rely on God in good times and in bad times. We can really try to make God the center of our lives. That is so awesome. Hey, thank you so much for the story. You got it. See you next time. Bye. You know what, Brandon? What, John? This gives a whole new meaning to us putting our muscles where our mouth is. <laughs> I still don't like that saying, but yes, exactly. Putting what we learn and believe into action. Let us do this. You really should do a better impression of Horbeth. Why? No reason. Hey, reveal the question. How can you live for God? Well, some people give their money away. Some people write songs about loving God. Some share food with people who are hungry. Right. You can live for God every day yeah. by doing things like uh, being nice to your family members. Yeah, or choosing to be brave when you feel afraid. And there are so many different ways you can live for God, but it takes practice and it takes commitment. When we give our hearts and lives to God, we get to live for God in every area of life. That's so cool. So what do you think? How can you live for God? Yeah. Talk it out, and we will see you next time. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this was The So-and-So Show. Yay! Woo! Goodbye, let's work out. All right, let's burn some right. calories. Yeah. Okay, first up, 50 jumping jacks. 50? Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Uh -huh. oh, I'm after the rescues! Poor Beth! <laughs> Those jacks look like Joseph's. That's not how Jack jumps. Jack jumps like this. Do that. Okay. Yeah. Now go fastest. Fastest with your arms and your leggies. Like so. Go, go, go. <laughs> He's still going. He's pretty amazing. <laughs> <laughs>